Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ramona Queen B here and I have a lovely video for you guys. So for all my new subscribers, thank you for joining us and for all my oldies, welcome back. And don't forget, this channel is all about lifestyle and everything in between. I give you a little bit of travel, a little bit of luxury, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit, a little bit of everything. So I have pretty much everything your heart desires. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, comment and share. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so the first perfume I'm going to discuss with you guys is one of my favourite. This is actually um, a new perfume that I got. I think I got it in about February in anticipation to wear it for spring. So this is not a long standing perfume I've had and is the Giorgio Arm Armani My Way. Now, I've had it since February and can you see the dent in the bottle already? Um, yeah. I really like this fragrance it smells so lush so light it just it feels very florally I must say but it's very light it just uh, I do have hay fever I do suffer with hay fever and at the moment I do have symptoms so my nose is semi blocked I don't know if you can hear it when I speak but I can still smell this fragrance so for me, because of that, a lot of times I have to make sure I get fragrances that I can actually smell when I'm wearing them. Um, I love it because it's so cute. It smells so lovely, so fresh, so florally. It just, it just smells so girly as well. So if you are a girly girl and you want something nice, florally, fresh, um, sweet, is also sweet. This would be my recommendation for you guys. I don't know if you can, can you see the name. It says Giorgio Armani My Way. I hope you guys can see that. It comes in this cute bottle with the blue top. And when I bought mine, this is just the 50 mil. It came in a little case as well, so you can for traveling. So it's like a, you know the makeup pouches that you can put your brushes in. It came in something like that. So I'll probably insert a picture of what it looks like. So you can put it in that pouch, close it, and it's safe to travel with. So my recommendation for perfume that will be great for spring season, it will be the Giorgio Armani My Way. The second perfume, which I've had for a couple of years now, this is now my second bottle. It is the Miss Dior by Dior. <laughs> Very easy to remember. Now, this is the perfume. All these perfumes, all these um fragrances are parfum um which means that they last quite long so i don't mind toilet perfumes but it has to be i have to really love it to have a toilet because i find that you have to keep topping up and a lot of time these perfumes are quite big as you can see so i don't want to carry them around with me however i will link in the description box below some um dispensers that i got from amazon you literally put them on top of your perfume you take the cover off and you press it, press it, press it, it goes up into the dispenser and they're little, they're just tiny little dispensers that you can put in your handbags if you want to have fragrances to top up with instead of having to buy miniature perfumes. So that's another way um, that how I carry my perfumes around with me when I just want to top up. I wasn't going to add that in the video, but there we go. That's how I carry my perfumes around with me. Um, when I need to top up so I've had this so long it literally just twists around um, but yeah I've had this a while now and I've been trying to savor it because the first bottle I had I ran through it like nobody's business and I was like okay just slow down a bit so the Miss Dior smells so great let me spray it on myself remember all these fragrances now this perfume literally smells like you're walking in a garden full of roses literally it is just divine it just smells like roses now for this i'm not going to go into the notes of each perfume i'm literally just going to tell you what they smell like to me and why i love them usually when i go perfume shopping or i think about a new perfume i don't always read through the notes or what it has in it um I like to smell it. So with perfume, it's very hard for me to buy perfumes online per se. Most of these perfumes I've got in store. Um, so during lockdown, it was very difficult for me to get perfume because there was um, nowhere to actually shop for them. Because you can read the notes and 
the notes might sound amazing but then when you actually smell the product you don't like it so um it was a bit of a debbie downer for me because i like to treat myself to a perfume every every couple of months and um during 2020 i wasn't able to do that much due to the fact that i couldn't actually smell them but definitely i think back in june when we when lockdown was lifted and we were able to go, I think I bought like five perfumes back then because there's so many that I wanted to try and I wasn't able to. Now, um, this one, back to the perfume, smells like roses, literally smells like everything. And although, back to the Giorgio Armani, I did say I got this in February, we weren't in lockdown, but a friend of mine had already owned this perfume, so I was able to smell it um, that way. So still smelt it before i bought it um got it online but I, at least i knew what it smelled like so um yes back to mr it smells so strong it's so long lasting it's just a great perfume i would definitely recommend this perfume and this is great for spring and summer but i usually use it in the springtime and when the summertime gets a bit hot i transition into other perfume which hopefully i'll provide those perfumes to you in another video of my favorite for summer um but for spring this is one of my favorite favorite perfumes perfume so in this section i'm going to go through these two um perfume so these are from joe malone these are the smaller sets they're almost you know done the same size in terms of um how often i've used them but i couldn't decide on what one i wanted to get so i decided to instead of buying the bigger one i decided to just get these two to test them out um i love them so for me my favorite one i'm not gonna lie is gonna be the pomegranate noir so this is the red rose and this is the pomegranate noir and i think the reason why i love the pomegranate more is because you rarely get a pomegranate scented perfume now um the miss dior has rose in it the the um giorgio mania has um i think a form of note of rose in it so um the red rose is just very it's a commonly used um note that you get in perfumes and i did like the red note that's why i got it because i like the smell of flowers especially during the spring season so this smells absolutely gorgeous it it smells a bit light it's definitely lighter than the miss dior when it comes to the rose it's more of this smells more of you've just gone to your garden and picked a fresh flowers and you know you're cutting the stems to rearrange the flowers it smells fresh um this miss dior is more intense like the you just smelling the rose like you've literally picked a rose up and like put it to your nose that's what the miss dior smells like but the the red rose it just smells a little more fresh, a bit understated. It, this smells more like a white rose. I know it said a red rose, but it just smells very light, very airy, very fresh, like more of the entire rose in itself, including the stems and the leaf. And um, it definitely smells relaxing. It smells like something that you'd go to a spa and smell, like one of the candles that they'll light when you're getting a massage. So the red rose is definitely one I'd recommend as well. Um, I do, I do like the smell of roses, so obviously I don't mind. But um, the Jo Malone, a wide range of um, perfume colognes, and a lot of them are absolutely gorgeous. I do have quite a few <laughs> Jo Malone perfume because I feel like it's just an exotic smell. I wouldn't find it anywhere else. So definitely the red rose is one of my favorite, and my favorite. I must say, in terms of spring colour we're talking about, because I have a few different favourite Jo Malone fragrances, which are my favourite. The Granite Noir, my favourite spring light fragrance from Jo Malone. I don't know what, I don't know what it is. I, I just, I love pomegranate. Generally, I eat pomegranate. I like to top it on my desserts. Um, I like to have it in salads. I like it as a fruit in itself. So when I smell this, it just smells so good. It smells so good. I don't even know what to tell you. How can I describe it to you? If you guys know what pomegranate is, I, if you don't, I'll insert like a photo of what pomegranate looks like. It's just, it smells very, it smells, 
it smells fresh it smells light it does smell like it has an undertone of rosewood to me to me or some form of some some form of woody scent because it definitely it's light but it's also a bit heavy i don't know how if that makes any sense to you so it's light it's fresh to go into the nose but i can feel a woody i can smell not feel i can smell a woody a woody base to it i, I don't know how to describe this to you guys but i just know that i'm in love with it definitely one of my favorite perfume from joe malone it's just not something that i've smelled anywhere else and i think that's why i love it so much because i don't know any other perfume that has like pomegranate as a base and i just don't i just don't know if you guys know let me know but love 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 the next perfume i'm going to talk about is this perfume right here this is creed now this is one of my longest wearing per when i put this perfume i can smell this three days later swear on my life and for the price i understand <laughs> could this per cologne cologne why do i keep saying cologne but this perfume is not cheap so i bet we smell it like three to four to five days later so this creed like at first it took me back a bit. I'm going to spray it here. I don't think I've sprayed anything yet. At first, it took a bit of getting used to. It is a more musky perfume. This I'd wear probably going out on a date or more for the night time. Not to say that you can't wear it during the day. But for me personally, it's a perfume that I'd wear going out on a nice um spring lunch not lunch and a nice and a nice spring afternoon for a dinner time because we know that the sun is still out around seven eight o'clock at night so this will be something that we're to a nice date now i don't know what the base notes are in this perfume but i definitely can smell a woody musky vibe it smells very light smells very fresh you know what it smells like to me to me you know when you've gone for a swim and you have that like watery i don't know can you smell the ocean i don't know but it has an aqua watery vibe to me like like walking on the beach and i can smell this perfume it just felt, it feels, it's, as I said, it has a bit of a woody undertone and a bit of a musky feel to it, but it's still very light. And I just love that. And as I said, I love the fact that I can smell it days, days after I wear it. And it's a good scent to smell. Sometimes I'm showering or sometimes you just roll over in bed or you just, you just, you know, you're, you're doing something and then you're like, oh, I forgot, you forgot you even had it on. So definitely one of my favorite spring and i to be honest i actually wear this all year round but because of the price point of this perfume you can see that i think i've had this for about a year and a half i tend not to use it a lot a year and a half i'd say a year i think about a year so no i bought this in january at the airport during duty free in 2020 so um, a year and a couple of months oh yeah it's almost a year and a half yeah so yeah a year and a half and I was quite surprised I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do but yeah and to be fair let's forget 2020 existed I haven't even had anywhere to go so if you think about not going anywhere for a whole year I've done a bit of a damage but still one of my favorite spring Perfect. Okay guys, and the last fragrance I have for you is quite a new fragrance in my collection. So this is more of a new fragrance alert. Um, I'm sure you guys might know about this. I think it's something that people rave about all the time. But it's quite new to me. But when I smelt it the first time, it definitely smelled very spring, summer um, to me. So this is the Ari Grand, Ariana Grande um, Cloud. Now, when I smell this, it literally smells of like, 
it smells like a bit of lavender and, and a bit of coconut um to me when i initially smelled it it gave me holiday vibe like i felt like i wanted to be on holiday with a pina colada no i don't like pina colada a margarita or a passion fruit martini or with a, basically a drink in my hand um it definitely gave me resort vibe it gave me relaxation vibe and and i i loved it it smells like it has coconut in it to me and it smells like it has a bit of a woody a woody feel as well it's very light i can smell a lavender in there as well it, it smells it smells lovely it smells calming so yeah i'd be happy to carry this on holiday and just wear it and just relax and the most important thing about this perfume is very inexpensive i this is 100 mils and i think i paid i think it's going for 40 43 pound and for the other perfumes, I'll put the prices down in the description box below because I couldn't remember all of them. But the reason why I remember this one is because it was the most recent purchase I bought. And this was, so it was £43 and I got it from the perfume shop and they were having um, some discount. can't remember what it was, um, but it was 15% off. So I got, on top of the 43 I got 15% off that. So I ended up paying like 36 36 something for 100 mils Psh, basically mind blown because you you don't see that and for a perfume that actually smells good that that's amazing um i really really like the smell now this as i said this is quite new to me it's not a staple it's just something that i've heard a lot of rave about and i wanted to try it so i actually went to the shops and i tried it out i think when did i buy it It must have been last month. Basically, when the shops were open, I was just browsing and I tried a few perfume and I, and I picked it up. Um, Yeah, whenever the shops open, I can't remember. So, yeah, I've literally probably had this for about a month. I've worn it once or twice. Um, Once, probably, probably once. <laughs> because you can see that. And also, this part, look how, look at, can you see how full it is? Like, you can barely see a dent in it some perfumes they arrive and they're already halfway down here and you're paying 80 pound for them so um for the quality for the price and for the smell a1 a1 i can't complain um smells absolutely gorgeous i actually can't wait to wear this more often this is a transitional perfume as well i think this will be great for summer as well so but it, because it's so light and flary and airy, I think it will just go perfect for spring. This is one, I think this is now going to be a new staple for me. What do you guys think? I really like it. Really like it. I do, I do. I must say, I don't normally follow the hype. But I agree with the hype for this perfume. And um, as I said, for the cost, for the price, for... Everything that you're getting, A1. So, oh, see, I can still smell that pomeg the, the pomegranate noir. It just literally hit my nose a while ago. So, yeah. So, so, so basically, guys, this is my spring collection for you. The one that I'd recommend. Um, I have a few more perfumes that could be spring. Um, but um, these are the ones I typically reach for for the spring season okay so that was the last perfume that i wanted to show you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and as i said before please don't forget to like subscribe and share i'll see you guys in my next one have a great day evening afternoon wherever you are have a great one <laughs> bye